The Duchy of Gita was an early medieval state centered on the coastal South Italian city of Gita. It began in the early 9th century as the local community began to grow autonomous as Byzantine power lagged in the Mediterranean and the peninsula due to Lombard and Saracen incursions. The primary source for the history of Gita during its ducal period is the Codex Caetanus, a collection of charters preserving Gaetan history better and in greater detail than that of its neighboring coastal states, Naples, Amalfi, and Sorrento. However, unlike these sister seaports, Gita was never a center of commercial importance. In 778, it was the headquarters from which the Patrician of Sicily directed the campaign against the Saracen invaders of Campania. Rise of the Da Sibylans The first consul of Gita, Constantine, who associated his son Marinus with him, was a Byzantine agent and a vassal of Andrew II of Naples. Constantine defended the city from the ravages of Muslim pirates and fortified it, building outlying castles as well. He was removed, probably violently, by the Da I, who established a dynasty and made Gita de facto independent. The Dasabelian dynasts regularly worked to advance Gaetan interests through alliance with whatever power was most capable of such at the time. They joined forces with the Saracens against their Christian neighbors and with the Pope against the Muslim pirates at the Battle of Ostia. They constructed a massive palace and greatly increased the city's prestige and wealth. The Gaetans remained nominally Byzantine in allegiance until the mid-10th century, fighting under their banner at the Battle of the Garigliano. The chief success of the Dasabelians lay, however, in extracting Gita from the Ducatus Neapolitanus. It was Dasabilis II, died 954, who first took the title of Dukes or Duke 933. Dasabilis saw Gita at its zenith, but began the process whereby it was chiefly weakened. He gave Fondi to his second son Marinus with the equivalent title of Duke and set a precedent for the partitioning of the Gaetan Duchy and its encastellation, which corroded ducal authority over time. Decline of ducal power In 962, Gita put itself under Pandulf Ironhead, the Lombard prince of Capua. In 963, however, only the municipal rulers appeared in the charters. In 976, the Holy Roman Emperor, Otto II, and the Pope were the recognized suzerains of Gita. A complete revolution had occurred since the assumption of the ducal title and the Western Emperor had replaced the Eastern as overlord. Gita declined in importance in the late 10th and early 11th centuries. In 1012, a succession crisis weakened it further. John IV died, leaving one son by his wife Sicilgata, a sister of Sergius IV of Naples. This son, John V, ruled under the disputed regency of his grandmother Amelia. His uncle Leo I usurped the duchy only to be removed in a few short months and his other uncle, Leo II, fought over the regency with Amelia. It wasn't until 1025 that the situation was settled. After that, John V sheltered the fleeing Sergius of Naples and aided him in retaking his city with Norman assistance. For this, John V earned the enmity of Pandulf IV of Capua and his duchy was conquered in 1032. The local dynasty, descended from Dasabilis, would never recover its duchy. Lombard domination Gita was conquered by the Lombards in 1032. In 1038, the conqueror, Pandulf of Capua, was deposed and replaced by Guimar IV of Salerno. Guimar did not reign personally for long before appointing the chiefest of his Norman mercenaries, Ranulf Drengo, as duke. On Ranulf's death, however, the Gaetans elected their own Lombard candidate, Atenulf, Count of Aquino. Under Atenulf and his son, Atenulf II, Gita remained practically independent, but Richard I of Capua and his son Jordan subjugated it in 1058 and then again in 1062. In 1064, the Lombard ruler was expelled and a Norman, William of Montreuil, took his place and married the Lombard widow of Atenulf I, Maria, daughter of Pandolf. The place of women in the rule of Gita was significant. Norman domination The Norman overlords of Gita appointed dukes from various families of local prominence, Normans mostly, until 1140, when the last Gaetan duke died, leaving the city to the king of Sicily, Roger II, to whom he had pledged himself in 1135. 
The first Norman duke after the brief tenure of Ranulf Drengo under Guimar was William of Montreuil, appointed in 1064. He tried to legitimize his rule by marriage to the widow of his Lombard predecessor, but after his expulsion by his Norman overlord, the Prince of Capua, Richard I, it was not necessary for any subsequent dukes to legitimize themselves, the Normans had established their power. From 1067 or 1068 to 1091, Gita was ruled by the Norman Ridello family. Their power was set in Gita and Geoffrey Ridello ruled from Pontecorvo, but the Gaetans were not completely weaned from their independent past yet. On the death of Jordan I of Capua, Gita rebelled against Norman rule and set up as their duke one Landolf. He ruled successfully until 1103, because the Norman prince of Capua, Richard II, was exiled from his capital. In 1103, William Blossful conquered the city and in turn was conquered by Richard of Aquila in 1105. Richard was a de facto independent duke as were his successors. The death of Jordan I had sapped the Norman dynasty of Capua of its authority and this had a great effect on Gita. After Richard's death 1111, Gita was ruled by Andrew Dell. Aquila until 1113, when Richard of Calaino got it. Finally, in 1135, Richard of Calaino was forced to make submission to King Roger, who had forced the last prince of Capua, Robert II, to make submission the same year. Economy The city of Gita was the always the economic, political, and ecclesiastical center of the duchy. The probable origins of the Docibolan dynasty as Amalfitan merchants perhaps explains the interest they had in amassing movable as well as landed wealth. The Gaten Forum market was located near the Ducal Palace. Warehouses, medialosi, some even owned by foreigners, like Pisans, were commonplace. In the 10th century Gaetans, Amalfitans, and Salernitans were present cum magno negotio, with great business, in Pavia. At Constantinople the Gaetans had a colony. Lutprint of Cremona even records that the deposers of Romanus II claimed the support of the men of Caeta and Amalfi. While it is known that Amalfi imported Byzantine silk, a single reference to Gaetan silk in a will of 1028 suggests that Gita may have been involved in its production. By 1129 the Jewish community at Gita was heavily involved in the industries of cloth dyeing, salt extraction, and olive oil production. The replacement of the Docibolan dynasty in the mid-11th century caused a municipal power shift which had implications for trade and commerce. The established nobility, whose wealth was based on land, was displaced by the families of the rising merchant class, whose new wealth was got by trade. These new families had established ties with Ptolemy I of Tusculum by 1105. The Crescenti, the traditional rivals of the Tusculani in Rome, had taken over Terracina, formerly Gaetan territory, and were establishing martial ties with the Docibolans still ruling at Fondi in the late 11th century. These two Roman families were soon vying for influence among the merchant clans of Gita. The Crescenti appear to have had upper hand. In the 12th century, Gaetan trade expanded, while the duchy's Norman dukes took less interest in the city itself. In 1128, Gita is recorded as paying less, only 12 denarii, for docking a ship at Genoa than any other city, Amalfi, Naples, Rome, or Salerno, perhaps suggesting long standing relations with Genoa. The Gaetan Genoese relationship had deteriorated by 1140, when, according to Cafaro di Rustico, in this same consulate two Gaetan ships came to plunder the province of Genoa. So two Genoese ships were armed, and following them found them at Argentarium, probably Monte Argentario, and captured one, taking its men and all its plunder back to Genoa. During the period of the consuls, Gita seems to have been heavily involved in piracy, if with little permanent success. The consuls are often recorded acting to restore merchandise to foreigners. There is reference to a war with the city of Salerno and to apparent commercial rivalry, resulting in piracy, with Atrani. Consulate In 1094 a major shift in the government of Gita was first recorded. In that year Boni Hamans good men, first took part in the political process. In 1123 consuls, four in number, are first recorded, though the dukes had always borne the consular title as an imperial honorific. This makes Gita one of the more precocious cities, 
by Daniel Whaley's criteria, the use of consuls may have been the result of Genoese or Pisan influence, though consuls from Rome were recorded participating in Gaetan affairs in 1127. The record of consular government in Gita lasts only until 1135. Two general factions can be defined, those families aligned with the Crescenti and those aligned with the Tuscolani. The former dominated the consulate. In 1123 Duke Richard II confirmed the copper coinage and promised the consuls not to change it. In 1127 the building that housed the Curia he ceded to them. The submission in 1135 and death in 1140 of the last Gaetan Duke correspond, respectively, with the last consular record and the failed attack on Genoa. It is probably that increased Norman oversight of Gaetan affairs is responsible for the eclipse of both the consuls and the pirates. See also List of Dukes of Gita Notes Further reading External links Chronology of the Ipathy, Consuls, Dukes, Princes, Kings, and Emperors who governed Gita from the 9th to the 13th century. The Coins of Gita